Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together. Today we are going to be reviewing the Mathematical Reasoning Level A Kinder Curriculum. Now we've done a longer podcast on this and it's in the show notes below, but today we're going to be doing a little bit of a walkthrough. Just a couple of pieces of information on this curriculum. It is an all-in-one workbook. It is aligned to the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, which is Common Core aligned. It's $30 and it follows a spiral method where it will return back and back and back again on common concepts as you move through it. So let's hop into it and take a look at this curriculum. So as we can see, nice little workbook, pretty drawings and colors, very colorful. Um, indicates level A, so make sure you get the right curriculum when you're looking on the, the Critical Thinking Company's website. So let's walk into it just a tad, and I will try to move through. One thing we liked about this initially was the table of contents, which indicates all the skills and all the various aspects of the mathematical skills that they will be looking through. They have this on both pages. So if you need to reference something, or if you have some type of educational requirement that you need to, to focus on, you can absolutely find those here in the book. Nice little walkthrough on some additional items, number lines, some um, few manipulatives that they're asking for, blocks. We've talked about a little bit about using blocks as manipulatives in a lot of our podcasts. A couple other little information. They also have a link to a website which will help you do more of a visual manipulatives. Now, as you can see right off the bat, every page, very colorful, very beautiful, a lot of designs. So here I'll flip through a couple of these. We have pictures of trees, pictures of table, kitchen puzzle. So you can see it's a very visual, visually designed curriculum. Up in the top right, it will indicate what the skill is. So this one is geometry simple little instructions, and then the, the learner can go off and, and do those exercises. As you flip through, you can see that the skill has changed from algebra to numbers and operations, working a little bit on hand on handwriting and recognition of shapes. So as you move through, you can absolutely see the progression of the activities that the user will have. One thing that they don't have here is at the end of, of any type of unit, or chapter, they do not have any type of assessment. So basically your learner will just be going through, doing pages every day, however many pages that might be. Um, some you can imagine doing two, three, four pages, I believe, let's give you a quick check. Yes, yeah, right, 250 pages. So if you can imagine doing an entire curriculum in one year, you'll be doing maybe about two to three pages a day. So if you did it on a daily thing, or if you did it on like a three day a week cadence, we've talked a little bit about that in our podcast. If you do it on a three day a week cadence, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you might be doing five, six pages. You can see they're fairly easy, fairly simple. A learner can go off and do these maybe while you're attending to another learner, families that are a little bit larger, a little bit more of an independent existence here for you as the teacher. Um, simple little thing. So you can see on the side of the spine, I don't know if you can see that, it is color coded. Um, what that indicates here is that it's just shifting from one, from one um, uh, focus to the next. So basically we're going to numbers and operations, again algebra. I think they actually indicated in the beginning how that is organized right here. So they'll be hopping between these um, five subjects between numbers and operations, algebra, geometry, measurement, data analysis, and probability. You can see the frequency on those with respect to the, the, the NCTM uh, standards and the skills that they indicated. So basically it's a very visual curriculum, as you can kind of see from here as I'm flipping through. A lot of shape dependency, a lot of understanding your numbers. I think towards the end, they begin to do a little bit of an equation work, simple addition, um, again, more shapes as well. They do focus on a lot of these basic skills, you can see how the shapes are continuing to spiral back into the learning. And you can see equations are back again. So you learner is learning uh, some type of skills, identifying here on this case, the tens, coming back to doing simple math. And you can see there as they spiral back and they're bringing the tens back into it. And I would imagine if you go to a couple pages, they're re reinforcing shapes, shapes again, back to numbers. And you can see the method of how they spiral the various learning back and forth. So hopefully this was a little bit of help. This was helpful to you, the mathematical reasoning uh, level A curriculum. Now we, we like to kind of indicate who this is for, maybe who this is not for. So first of all, 
great for visual learners. We really like this as a visual learning tool. The graphics are really nice. Um, the colors pop. It's very interesting, very stimulating. Also, it's a very low budget. So if you're on a budget, a little bit budget conscious, and that's important to you, this is a good curriculum for that. If you have a lot of kids and you can't really give that one-on-one -on -one time, you know, really intensive, or if you have a high touch learner, that loves to have you next to them while you're, while you're teaching, this may not be the best curriculum for that. Also, if you wanna use this as a supplement, this is something that I think we are going to be implementing in our morning basket as kind of like a every day, a couple pages, continuing to do your education, continuing to reinforce skills. That's another way to maybe potentially use this curriculum if you wanna do this as an assessment. As an assessment, I do like this, like if you're, if you're on a summer or if you're trying to find out what your learn, where your learner is in the math program, this is a great way to kind of have them hop through and you can kind of assess and learn, okay, where's my learner? Okay, now I can pick up from here and continue on. And lastly, reluctant kids. So if you have kind of a reluctant learner who doesn't want to sit down and have somebody leaning over the top of them, teaching them math all the time, this is a great way to kind of give them some page, give them some a little bit of space, allow them to go off and do those, that learning. Now, who is this not for? Kinesthetic learners, kids who like to touch stuff, manipulate stuff. There are no, manipula there are no manipulatives in this curriculum, and there's not that much guidance on how to do that if you did have to do curriculum, if you had to do manipulatives to support the learning. Another thing that I, I maybe don't like, if you're, a, if you're a mentor or teacher that likes to know why you're teaching a certain thing as opposed to just going through page by page by page, if you want to know what skills and how it's being taught, they don't support that here. So that may be an issue for you as well. And as we touched on a little bit earlier, the high touch learners, the learners who want you to be there right next to them, this may not be the best curriculum for that. So mathematical reasoning, level A kinder curriculum, hopefully that, that gives you a nice little walkthrough and help you make a good decision. Thanks so much.